great lighting here at the Fringe Festival. We're about to go see the legend of Julie Taymor and or the musical that killed everybody. Controversial. Or is it? Or is it? Um, we've actually seen the Spider-Man that's on Broadway currently. Yeah. It's not too bad. But it's not too Julie Taymor either. It's not too good either. Yeah. The Spider-Man on Broadway, it's almost like... It's Patty like, Hearst. I was going to say like Grimm's Fairy Tales, the way okay. that other people riff on it. First of all, I mean, it's a story about a story that really became in and of itself the story. I'm sort of dubious. Really? I have a few, yeah, I'm sort of dubious because... Well, it's a bit like shooting fish in a barrel. Because when I heard about the show, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, I like, oh yeah, of course somebody did this. Well, we'll see. Let's let's jump in and we'll see. Hopefully the seats aren't too uncomfortable. The legend of Julie Taymor or, or the, the musical, musical that, that killed, killed everybody. everybody. Hope it doesn't kill us. Right fresh out of the show, and I've got to say... The show suffers from a lot of what the show that it's parodying suffers from. Because it could do with a lot of editing. At its goofiest and most uh, absurd is when it really succeeds. When it, when it kind of meanders and gets introspective and, and asks you to care about the people involved, it kind of falters. But on the whole, it's a hilarious... Um, if you did follow the show, the problems that went through Spider-Man opening, go see the show because you're going to find it absolutely hysterical. There was a number about tweeting during the uh, the show, which that was, was a really one of the killer number. Really great show. If the entire show could have had that intensity, yeah. it would have been great. The one problem that I have is that unfortunately with a musical like this, it's all about knowing the lyrics and hearing what the actors are singing it's all or saying. all about the witty lyric. Most of it was lost because of the poor acoustics in the show. They just needed to bring down the volume of the drums and the piano a little bit. Yeah, so that you yeah. could actually hear the lyrics. Regardless, I would say green Greenlight. It's definitely for a fringe production. It's it's pretty darn good. Yeah, green light here. Julie Taymor, the legend of Julie Taymor, playing at 45 Bleecker. No, go see it.